Live from WSLS, this is 10 News at Noon, working for you. Now at noon, hurricane season is officially underway. The new program that's designed to keep people safe in the Commonwealth. Plus, a man accused of killing a Tennessee deputy is now in jail. The two-day manhunt to capture the alleged killer. Good afternoon. Thanks so much for joining us. I'm Patrick McKee. We begin this afternoon with breaking news as crews are on the scene of a three car crash on Route 11 in Pulaski County. We have learned that one person has died. One was airlifted to the hospital and another suffered minor injuries. This wreck happened between Fairlawn and Dublin just before set or just after seven this morning. Drivers are being asked to avoid this area. The sheriff's office says you can use old Route 11 instead. The name of the victim has not yet been released. We are working for you to get the very latest on this story. Stay with WSLS.com for the very latest. Also tracking the potential for more showers and storms today. Chris Michaels in with what we can expect this afternoon. Hey there, Patrick. Yeah, so far a great afternoon. It's a little humid out there, but we're already at 83 degrees in the Star City. Take a look around town. We got uh, partly cloudy sky in Roanoke, Blacksburg and Martinsville. It's 83 in Martinsville, 77 in Blacksburg with so far no rain around. Most of that has been off towards the south and the bulk of the severe weather is going to stay towards the south as well through the Tennessee River Valley and parts of Georgia, Alabama and eastern Mississippi. Meanwhile, for us, we do have some scattered showers and thunderstorms in the forecast this afternoon. It is hot though. June coming in hot with temperatures near 90 degrees in the Roanoke Valley. Storms again will let you know how long those storm chances are going to last, how that impacts our weekend forecast, and then we let you know when finally the humidity is getting out of here. The full forecast coming up in just a little bit. Victims of the tornado that ripped through parts of central Virginia can now apply for low interest loans to help them rebuild. Governor Northam says businesses and nonprofits can borrow up to $2 million to replace or repair buildings, machinery and equipment. Homeowners can also borrow up to $200,000. April's tornado heavily damaged parts of Lynchburg and Danville. The National Weather Service estimates the winds exceeded 130 miles per hour. Today marks the official start to the 2018 Atlantic hurricane season. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's forecasting a normal to above average season. Forecasters say we can expect to see 10 to 16 tropical storms. Five to nine of those are expected to become hurricanes with up to four becoming major storms with winds over 110 miles per hour. Hurricane season runs through November 30th. Governor Northam is urging you to start preparing now for hurricane season. This is especially important if you have vacation plans to the coast. The Virginia Department of Emergency Management is announcing a new program called Know Your Zone. The program targets areas that could be in more danger than others. These zones are based on tides, intensities of the storm, and the storm's path. Northam says it's not a matter of if these hurricanes come, but when. 10 News is going to track storms as they form throughout this hurricane season. For the latest tracks and forecasts, you can download the Storm Team 10 weather app or check out our website, WSLS.com. We have an update to a story we've been following since Wednesday. The man wanted for shooting and killing a Tennessee deputy is now in custody. The Tennessee Bureau of Investigation tweeted photos of Stephen Wiggins' arrest this morning. His clothes were torn and dirty after spending two days on the run. Wiggins is accused of killing Dixon County Sheriff Sergeant Daniel Baker. Police have also arrested a woman in connection with Baker's death. 10 News will continue to follow this story and bring you the latest details as they become available. New at noon, an investigation is underway in Pennsylvania County after an armed robbery. It happened at the Daytona Mart last night on Highway 29 around 945. The sheriff's office says these two men entered the store and demanded money from the clerk. Deputies say that one of them pulled out a gun, took money, and then ran off toward Danville. Deputies are asking you to give them a call if you know who these people are. You could be eligible for a reward of up to $1,000. New at noon, the Campbell County Sheriff's Office needs your help as it investigates several stolen items. They have they are working several cases involving stolen four wheelers. Deputies also took a report of a stolen utility trailer as well as a red 2003 Kawasaki Prairie 650 like this one here. The items were taken from Sunburst Road just off of Leesville Road last Saturday. 
a green 2017 Kawasaki Brute Force 300 that looks like this was also taken. And another gray off-brand four-wheeler was also stolen. If you know where these items are or know anything about what happened, you're asked to call the sheriff's office. A man is in jail this afternoon after Lynchburg police respond to a call about shots fired. They were called to the 400 block of Walnut Street last night just before 10 where they saw 33 year old Sammy Jones III. Police say he threw a gun in the yard as he ran away from them. He was later arrested on several gun charges. He's currently being held in jail without bond. Everyone is safe after an early morning water rescue. The Bedford County Fire and Rescue Special Operations Command says crews were on the scene at the James River early this morning. Amherst County Dispatch says the call came in around 2 because of an overturned boat. The victims were hanging on to trees to stay safe. Again, they were rescued, so good news. Everyone is safe this afternoon. Less than two weeks before a historic summit, and no one is sure if it's still going to happen. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo says talks are going well with North Korea. An aide from the rogue nation plans to make a rare visit to Washington, D.C. to hand deliver a letter to President Trump from Kim Jong-un. This comes as U.S. working level group meets in the demilitarized zone on the Korean Peninsula. Officials believe North Korea is waiting for cues from Kim Jong-chol on what to do next as he discusses relations with the U.S. Pompeo says it's going to take time to mend whatever bridges may have been burned during the decades long struggle for peace. This is going to be a process that will take days and weeks to work our way through. There will be tough moments. There will be difficult times. I've had some difficult conversations with them as well. Uh, they've given it right back to me too. Officials say plans. The decision to resume plans for the Singapore meeting is ultimately up to President Trump. Good news as the unemployment rate drops to its lowest point in half a century. According to the May jobs report, it now sits at 3.8%. That's its lowest level since 1969. Employers added 223,000 jobs last month, exceeding expectations. The unemployment rate has been dropping steadily over the past several years. Wages also grew during the month of May, up 2.7% from this time last year. Today, it's National Donut Day, a day to celebrate. Every year, the first Friday of June marks the time to celebrate this sweet treat. 10 News reporter Aaron Brookshire has details on some big deals today. To celebrate National Donut Day, we're checking in with Mama Crockett's Cider Donuts. And joining us right now is FW. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Aaron. So talk a little bit about what you guys have going on this weekend. You guys will be in Lynchburg tomorrow, right? That's right. Uh, we're a little sad to not be in our hometown on National Donut Day. But, you know, when we have the opportunity to be downtown with y'all, we figured that would be a thing to do. So. Saturday, we will be on Main Street in Lynchburg, and we're going to just keep the action going. Free donuts all day. Just walk up and grab one. That is awesome. So you guys have been in Roanoke all day. Talk about what people can expect when they come out to get donuts for you guys. Yeah, so we really only make one thing. It's an apple cider donut. That's real apple cider in every batch of uh, batter. When it comes out of the fryer, it gets rolled in cinnamon sugar or maple sugar, and it's your choice. That sounds delicious. So for people in Southside, there's still a little bit of time. How long are you guys open in Martinsville today? Till one o'clock. Okay, and that's at the I Center in Collinsville, right? That's right. All yeah. right, well, thank you so much for joining us. Have a great day. And we posted more details about the deals from Mama Cider's, uh, Mama's Crockett Cider Donuts and other donut shops all across the area to our website, WSLS.com. In Roanoke, I'm Erin Brookshire, 10 News, working for you. The donuts have been quite tasty today. Still to come, one of the biggest retailers in the world announces a new shopping experience. How sending a text message can get you what you need. But first, a live look over the Roanoke Valley where we're seeing sun and clouds this afternoon. Chris is back with your forecast next.